So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your own superpuberty. I know it sounds crazy, but you can do it. It's more simple than you think. So let's look at the patient here. So here's the patient. Here's the abdomen. Here are the nipple lines. Here's the uh, belly button. Here's the pubic bone. So the first thing I usually do is you, you have your clip. You disconnect this, clip it to your gown or, or to the sheet. Usually, if the super pubic tube is in for a long time, months, years, you can just take it out and put a new catheter in. However, if this is fairly fresh, it's better to change it by putting a little water inside the, the bladder first. So I'll show you what to do. So you take a syringe, draw it up from your, from your, from your, uh, uh, from your basin, and then fill the bladder with some water. Okay, and you can see you see, you flush it, it, it irrigates back and forth. So once you fill it, then leave this connected, okay? Then take a little betadine. Then I usually, you know, clean around the catheter site. Then I save a little bit more betadine for a minute. And then you're going to get your syringe. You're going to deflate the balloon. And you have to get ready because what happens is when you take the catheter out, you, it's going to be like Johnny the Dyke. So you throw this catheter down because you'll see urine start pouring out of the hole. So you have to be prepared. So I got this prepared. I have the catheter already in the package, but I've opened the package. So I don't want to touch the tip of the catheter. Then I'm going to take the catheter. And you'll be surprised. You don't have to shove the whole thing in. All you have to do is put maybe an inch or two of it in. Get your beta dime. Then I'm going to put the catheter in. And that's about it. You don't have to shove the whole catheter because the bladder is up to the wall. And, and sometimes you'll see drainage, but not always. Then you have your syringe filled with fluid. Now, usually, see this is water. And this is saline. Saline means salt water. So salt water can precipitate out little crystals. So it's better to fill it with pure water. And, and then when you deflate the balloon, it will be easy the next time. If you use uh, salt water, the salt may clog the, the tube and you'll have difficulty taking out. So always use water if you can. Then you take your syringe, you blow it up. If while you're blowing it up, you have horrible pain, that means it's not in the right place. You shouldn't have any pain, zero pain, okay? So when, while it's inflating, if you have pain, then just advance it a little bit, okay? But you don't, it, it, most of it should be sticking out of the body. You don't have to feel it. And then once it's inflated, pull it back till you feel some resistance, okay? And once you feel some resistance, it, it should be go okay. The next thing is, if the catheter, you're not sure, is it in place or not? Move it in and out. Does it move easily in and out? You see that? It moves in an inch back and forth. That means it's in a good place. If you try and move it and it's fixed, it, it's probably in the wrong place. It's in the prostate, in the wall of the skin or something like that. So just make sure it moves back easily. Next thing is, You'll say, I still don't, I'm not sure. I, is the super pubic tube in? So you take your empty syringe, connect this, and pull back. You see that? Look at that. So this means that it's properly placed in the bladder. See the water goes in, water goes out. Water goes in, water goes out. That's how you can confirm that you did a good job with the super pubic tube. So keys are one, when you put the catheter in, don't shove this whole thing in like this. This is a big mistake because if you push it in up to the hub, in women, many times it pops out the urethra and it's outside of the body. Two, in a man, you are more likely to shove this into the prostate. So all you have to do is really two or three inches. That's it. Not even. And many times you'll feel a little bit of resistance. If you feel like you're hitting a little resistance right there. I feel it. Then you inflate your balloon and then take your catheter and reconnect it. 
And, and that's fine. Others, you could put your catheter foot. Keys are one, fill it not with saline, salt water, fill it with sterile water, fill the balloon. Irrigate it, fill it with uh, one syringe full before you change the catheter. And then you can confirm when you irrigate it that it's in place. And you can do it. It's not that difficult. And I'm confident you'll do a good job. All right. Take care.